Hello everyone, my name is Young Zorn. Uh, I am a cappered speedrunner. Uh, I mainly am focusing currently on the All Crowns category, and I will eventually work my way around to, to all the other categories. Uh, all Crowns Marta, mind you. So, uh, right now I'm going to be detailing, like, everything about each stage. You know, like, you know, like, all the strats and stuff. Like, 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 all the, like, cycle strats and stuff. Uh, hopefully I do a good job with this. So, yeah. Anyway, let's start it now. Hello, world. Now, this stage is, uh, it's pretty notorious for, uh, it's pretty notorious for, uh, for being really hard. Uh, mainly because of this, uh, jump, mainly because of these jumping strats right here. Uh, <clears throat> and because of uh, the fast jumps right here. So, so, uh, what you can do is, like, right as you land, you can just, uh, you can kind of just, like, jump and, like, flutter to that side, to, like, this bit right here. Uh, and then you can just, uh, jump up from there. The main thing about all crowns, obviously, you gotta grab these things. The crowns. Now, with the crowns, um, grabbing the crowns, uh, there's actually a pretty fast strat. You don't touch the whole, like, crown sprite. You actually just have to touch, like, like, like a certain boundary to them, I guess, is the word. It's actually super easy to grab the crowns here, once you get used to it anyway. Anyway, after, anyway, uh, after you grab the crown, I'm just gonna simulate that. You just come back here, and then just jump up. Actually, let me just uh, do the full level right now. Or attempt to, anyway. Ah, <sighs> now you get the gist of it. Anyway, hit. Uh, oh, this stage is horrible. I don't even know how to describe how to do this stage. It's just so hard, dude. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe how hard that stage is. Anyway, this is Magic Key. So, uh, so you, some of you may be familiar with this strat. Sorry, this is hard to get, like, all the time. You may be familiar with this strat where you jump from this platform right here to that, uh, ledge right there. It's really hard to do. In fact, I think it's even RNG dependent on, like, the subpixel or whatever. Uh, one thing that you could do is just that. Grab the crown, and then... Anxiety attack. Uh, or what you could do instead. Uh, because, because this strat is actually, like... Because going this way, it's actually way slower than, uh, doing a fast strat. Like, like, even more so than, uh, like, even more, like, it's actually way slower than, than in, uh, any percent. Cause, like, any percent, it was kind of just like this. That's only, like, 0.5 slower. But, like, doing this in all crowns is, like, sec- it- like, the- like, doing the slow strat in, uh, any percent is, like, it's, it's only like 0.5 seconds slower, I'm pretty sure, but but that strat, doing it in all crowns is like completely unviable. It's just way too slow. Um, so, so what you're gonna wanna often do is, well, you could either do this, wait for the platforms, grab the crown, jump the key, jump up to here, and then go through the portal. Or what you could do instead, and this is way faster, is you could jump to there, try to get this right here. It's really inconsistent, but hey, but hey, if you want to go fast, it's kind of what you have to do. 
Again, you don't have to do this. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just giving my own, like, suggestions. So just... So, once you get to there, you just jump onto that platform right there. Grab the crown. Everything will be on. Awesome. And then you can just uh, drop down, grab the key. Uh, ah, dang it. I, and I missed the backup strat. What I was trying to do there was, uh, I was trying to, like, uh, do what we call fast arm. Uh, it's both in any percent and, uh, all crowns, but it's way hard, but it's way harder in all crowns than in, uh, any percent. It's possible to do in all crowns, but if you can't get it and you're just way too slow, you can kind of just, like, do the backup strat right there like that. Although, it, it's, it, although, uh, going for fast arm is kind of, uh, going for fast arm here, it's a little more viable, but not too much. It's, it's, it's kind of like the pixel jump in any percent. Push bird. Now, one thing I should probably, um, note is that, uh, when you're, like, near the edge when you're pushing a box, um, you want to, like, jump, like, you want to jump, like, right before the box starts to fall off of the, like, right before the box starts to fall. The reason why is because if you do that, um, uh, it will cause you to fall sooner, like, off of that, uh, ledge right there. Then you can just grab the key, which also, which also is in kind of like, which also is kind of like grabbing the crowns where like, where like it's not, where it's like not as tight as most people would think. Uh, like you don't have to be touching the whole sprite. Like the, like the hitbox is like way bigger than it, than it really looks. Anyway, you do that, uh, you push the box. Uh, I'll show you, um, I'll show you a visual cue that I use for, uh, the box push. So, when I'm pushing the box, uh, about right here is when I stop pushing it, and then I just jump off and then try to get to there. Uh, I'll show you a better way of- I'll show you a better version of that, actually. Ooh, whoops. Okay, so, wait. Jump right there, and then you jump up to here and then portal all right now buzz cut uh now there's actually a, a multitude of strats that you can use here uh, ow dang it. there's a uh one strat that i typically like to use is like hug that wall uh, and then like wait for the face of like uh the saw like the like the purple part of the saw to like touch like i guess the surface of like the ground uh and then um and then like go the other way uh, and like just keep walking uh jump like uh jump like when the box is like around here because typically that's when the saw uh comes up uh and then uh and then what you'll do is uh hold on let me just uh get back to there Sorry if I go a little fast. Uh, I don't mean to. Jump right there. Jump at the right time for that box. Flutter to over here. Grab the crown. And then come back to over here. Now, here I'm pretty sure there's also another sub-pixel jump. Uh, that's also pretty darn hard. Uh, let me try to just get it here. Keep in mind, I've actually never gotten this before. If you can tell, this is really difficult. Yeah, screw it. Uh, something I would recommend here is jump up to. Okay, so, so instead of so instead of trying to do this impossible subpixel jump, what I personally like to do is I like try to like fall like onto this corner right here and then just like so like that kind of like that it, it it doesn't lose any time if you do it correctly uh and it's just way easier 
Now, the second strat that you can do here for a buzz cut is called Buck Slide. You may have heard of this strat in any percent and other categories, probably. I don't know anything about like the optimizations in those categories, but I imagine Buck Slide is used. Dang it. Buck Slide uh, is this horrible strat, which, uh, which I would not recommend anybody do unless they want to get a world record. Uh, it's super, it's super hard, it's super finicky, but, uh, hey, only go for this if you want to get the world record, though. Uh, I believe the world record holder, Theon, or, I believe that the world record holder, technically, Theon, uh, did not go for this strategy, for this strat, uh, in his, uh, in his, uh, all crown world, all crowns world record. That's box slide right there. Then you you kind of just like do that, and then it's the exact same buzz cut as before, except with uh, different saw cycles. But that shouldn't even like be a huge difference. Uh, so now we just skip to level six, up and down. Please be careful of these cycles right here. Maybe wait a little bit. Ah. All right. So what you do here? Jump up to here. And then try to not die to the freaking uh, spike balls. Uh, after that, you kind of just uh, go up to here and then uh, grab the crown right there. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to like go slower because like. All right. So when you get up to here, do a full jump because that's the only thing that can. Because to my knowledge, that's the only thing that can even like get you up here. Um, do a full jump, and then try to, like, rhythmically tap the, uh, the jump button to, like, grab that crown as fast as you can. Then after that, you can kind of just fall down, and then, uh, and then, like, and then you can, and then if you're, like, and then if you're, like, not bad like me, uh, you can just, like, do that. And there you go. Or you can wait for the, uh, spike balls. Either or is fine. Saw face. Alright, uh, this is actually one of my favorite stages. So, what I do first, I hug the wall right there. Uh, that sets up the, uh, uh, that sets up the saw cycles a little better. Uh, again, rhythmically tap the, uh, the jump button right there to get up to there faster. Now, uh, keep walking left, and you should be able to grab this crown right here. Be careful of the saws. Please be careful of the saws. And then after that, the saw blade cycle. If you if you do that stage just as I did it, then then the, then those saw blade cycles should not be too big of an issue. Ugh. Anyway, that is when we, that is when nothing is easy anymore. Okay, shaky grounds. Um. <clears throat> Now, uh, now, obviously for shaky grounds, you're just gonna kind of, like, stand on these. Or what you could do is just do something that's a little faster, but it can add, end up adding up. These things called momentum jumps. Do not go for these until you're, con until you're somewhat consistent at them. I still am not consistent at them at all. That is uh, shaky grounds. Plummet, 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 plummet. Now, uh, there's two ways that you can go about the cycles in this stage. The first one is super freaking easy. First, whoop, you die on that saw, and then you go over to here, and then you just kind of like fall down to here. Uh, and then the elevator cycle should not be too big of an issue for you, unless you're stupid like me. Um. <coughs> Um, anyway, you die on that saw, and then you fall down to here, and then you just kind of jump up to here, and then you keep jumping, maybe like rhythmic taps again. Uh, destroy those blocks like that, like just by walking on them, it sets up for later, and then you can just like catch the elevator again, maybe try to do this I guess. That was a little slow, but you hopefully get the idea of it. 
Or what you could do is you could do this really hard strat right here. This is called Fast Plummet. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. I actually have a tutorial on how to do uh, Fast Plummet. If anybody wants to watch that, go ahead. Um, it's basically just like the... Uh, uh, I already since I already have a tutorial on it, I won't like do a super lengthy segment on this. But but all I'm gonna but but I will still part kind of teach it. So I so I kind of stole a visual cue from Mr. Uppercase T, who also stole uh, this visual cue from somebody else. Basically, basically when Capper's ear is like right here, that's when I let go of jump. Let go. Fall down. Uh, what you can also do is, like, do a momentum jump right here, but please be careful when doing that, and then you kind of just, come on, yeah. That's really tight, honestly, it really is pretty tight. So anyway, after that, it's kind of just the exact same plummet y'all, you all know and love. Or hate, like I do. Anyway, that was plummet. Upward, uh, upward has no cycles, so woo, I can actually go slow here without worrying about cycles. Just jump up and jump over that death pit. Activate that. Jump up to here. Jump up to here. Jump, go over there. Make your way up to here. The grounds will, uh, the ground will, uh, fall. Now, please do not fall here. Do not fall here. This is, if you fall there, you're gonna have to reset the entire stage or else you won't be able to get that crown. Double trouble. Uh, oh, I, I messed up. There's a, there's actually a cycle here. So, <clears throat> so you go over to there. Uh, uh, and then, uh, and then with like, okay, actually, let me go back. Let me try to go a little slower. So here, uh, you can either wait for that to go over there, or what you can do is like, if or it is you can um. Uh, is you can, like, move with the platform, like, to the right. And then at the right time, like, right as you're about to fall, you can just, uh, jump up to the spring. It may be a little hard, I don't know. Anyway, uh, bounce onto that spring, go over the spike, and, uh, yeah, that's double trouble dealt with. Grumble. This has no cycles. So, um... I heard that there's a manip- I- I heard somewhere that there's a manipulation that you can do here in Grumble. Uh, I personally don't do it, uh, because I don't know what it is. Uh, but I'll just go over a really basic Grumble. So, you walk to the right, jump up to that spring, grab the key, jump down to here, jump up to here, and then that's Grumble, I- I guess. Be, be wary of the enemies there, please. Uh, anyway, uh, Spike Topper. Just try to copy what I do. There's no real way for me to, like, actually describe this. Other than, uh, other than, uh, Capard's ears and wings don't have a hit, ha don't have hurt boxes, and, and the teeth of the saw blades don't hit you. They can't hurt you. And now we're going on to the worst stage in the game. Long way. So, uh, at the start right here, um, cause, you cause these, uh, platforms to, to break and fall, like that, uh, then you can just, like, jump up to here, then wait for these, uh, things right here, you jump up to here, please be fast, because you're trying to make a cycle here, jump right there, push the box to there, and then try to fall onto, uh, then try to fall onto that platform as soon as you can, then, and then, uh, jeez, I should probably explain, like, the part, like, earlier a little better, uh, like, like, with, like, um, with, like, uh, the platform, the arm that you're, uh, walking on. So, with the arm that you're walking on here, the reason you want to walk on it is because you will end up moving with the arm. Which, which in turn, will cause you to gain a ton of more momentum, and then you can end up just pressing the button like that. I'm sorry. There. Oh, man. 
<sighs> Those stupid mini crushers. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm just trying to get back to the part with the mini crushers. I'm pretty sure the mini crushers are also on a cycle, so that's why I'm not just going back to them at the checkpoint. Maybe they're RNG. I don't know, though. I think it's both RNG and cycles. So, alright. Same thing right here. Push the box onto that button. Don't fall like I did just now. Please be careful during this stage. It's really hard to, it's really easy to mess up. Um, okay. So then you just kind of like, walk, then you just kind of like, wait, jump up to here, box, jump down, button, arm, really slow arm right there, but whatever. Grab the checkpoint if you want for safety. Uh, Alright, now I can talk about these little shits. So, um, so please be careful. Uh, when you're coming down here, what you want to ideally do is uh, jump down to there, like with, like, I think, with, with like a momentum jump. Uh, and then you kind of just like, grab the crown and then try to get out of there without getting without getting sniped by those uh by the mini crushers and that's and that's a long way really really basic stage really all right crusher uh i think this stage is pretty self-explanatory you kind of just like don't get crushed so what you can do there wait right there have them jump there and then death and we are done. Ugh, so that was, uh, so that was, um, Marta All Crowns. That was my Marta All Crowns tutorial. Uh, uh, if you have any, if you have any other questions about, um, about Marta All Crowns, uh, my, uh, um, I will put my Discord tag in the description of this video. Uh, I will also link the uh, Rayumi speedrunning Discord server in the description, which is the Capward speedrunning Discord server. Um, I'll also leave a link to uh, Mr. Uppercase T's uh, guide for Marta Any Percent, just to go over some more strats for like the stages where there aren't any crowns, uh, because he does a way better job of explaining it than I do. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I hope I helped you. Anyway, take care.